Hello, this is my first tip and trick slash speedrun video. I will be sharing my personal secrets for these four shrines so that you can retrieve your Breath of the Sea faster. Just a quick reminder, with all of these locations, you will not receive a Breath of the Sea unless you have a Coral Quest bottle for that location. Otherwise, it will just be empty. So our first location will be the Shrine of Flooded Embrace. This is close to Crooked Mass, between Tile 11 and 12, letter N. This location requires nothing special. You just swim straight down, grab the Breath of the Sea, drop it into a mermaid statue, teleport back, and you're on your way. Our second location will be the Shrine of Coral Tomb. Location on the map, between 4 and 5, letter H. It is in the center of four small islands. This location will require a sword. Here's a quick trick on the slide you may not know. If you hold the direction that you're traveling, you will go faster. If you hold the opposite direction, you will go slower. Once you jump on the coral, you're going to stay slightly to the left or the edge of the stone. As you get on this platform, you will go up the ladder and slightly to the left is where you're going to be sword lunging to. The trick here is just making sure that you have the angle correctly. You're going to want to sword lunge directly across to where you see the wood slanted down. This spot does take some practice. It will be difficult at first, but the more you do it, the better you get at it. Once you make the gap, you will notice that you can climb up, grab the breath of the sea, drop it into a mermaid statue, and teleport back to your ship. Our third location will be the Shrine of Tribute. Location on the map, 18G. This location requires a sword. Here's a quick pointer. With all of these locations, make sure you park in the center of the spiral and drop anchor. This will prevent you from getting storm damage. Once you have flipped the switch and opened the door, swim down, make sure to grab more oxygen, and I don't think the path matters between red or blue. I believe they're 
almost identical. Now, once you find the room with the giant statue, this is where you're going to perform the next part of the trick. This location requires you to be on the edge of the pedestal and land on the edge of the staircase. Once you've made this sword lunge, you will follow the corridor. Here, you will grab the breath of the sea, drop down, place it in a mermaid statue, teleport back to your ship. Our final location will be Shrine of Ancient Tears, location on the map 20N. There is three routes. The first route can be accomplished with double gunning. The second and third can only be done with a sword. For the double gun method, this is pretty straightforward. You swim down, open the door, follow the coral platforms at the end, time your jump, make the gap without using the ladder, climb the second ladder, follow the trail. Flip the switch. Jump down. Light the four beacons. Grab the breath of the sea. Run up the staircase. Flip the second switch. And place it into a mermaid statue teleporting back to your ship. Now for the first part using a sword, you will swim down, open the door, stand on the coral platform that's equal with the skeleton holding the lamp. The skeleton does not have collision. Once you have performed the sword lunge, you will then follow up the trail, turn to the right, flip the switch, and proceed like what was shown with the double gunning method. We will be performing the same sword lunge from the same location as we did the first one. The difference is it will be slightly to the right, and we will be landing on the pillar that connects the ceiling to the floor and then follow that up, flip the switch, and repeat, as mentioned in the very first step. All right, so this wraps up my first tip and trick and speedrun video. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you will like, subscribe, and comment. I hope you enjoyed this 